Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT JMMS 2022, problem number 58. The problem says that let x order 1, x order 2, x order 3, x order 4, x order 5 be the order statistics based on a random sample of size 5 from a continuous distribution with probability density function fx is equal to 1 by x square if x lies between 1 and infinity and 0 otherwise. Then the sum of all possible values of r in this set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for which expectation of x order r is finite equals so we need to find the values of those values of r for which the expectation of x order r exists and then take the sum of all those r's right so x1 through x5 is a so let x1 through x5 be a random sample from this this distribution right so the cdf fx is actually nothing but integral minus infinity to, to x ft dt right so it's nothing but integral 1 to x 1 by t square dt which turns out to be 1 minus 1 by x therefore fx is actually 0 if x is less than equals 1 and 1 minus 1 by x if x is greater than 1 right this is the distribution function let fr be the pdf of x order r the r -th order statistic let fr be the pdf of x order r so we know that the we know from the formula that the pdf the if fr of x is nothing but 5 factorial by r minus 1 factorial into 5 minus r factorial into fx to the r minus 1 into 1 minus fx to the f 5 minus r into fx right where x lie is greater than 1 now we know fx capital fx and small fx we know both the pdf and the cdf of the distribution so it turns out to be this ultimately 5 factorial by r minus 1 factorial into 5 minus r factorial into x minus 1 equal to the r minus 1 divided by x to the power 6 right this is the pdf of the r order statistic right so basically we need to find those values of r for which the expectation of this pdf exists this distribution exists right so let expectation of x order r is actually integral 1 to infinity x into f r of x right so this thing this thing x into this entire pdf right so this part is obviously the constant part this part uh, gets out from the integral so this is nothing but integral 1 to infinity x minus 1 whole to the r, mi r minus 1 divided by x to the 5 dx so now we have to find those values of those values of r for which this integral is actually finite only then you can easily say that the expectation exists right the expectation is finite for those values of r for which this integral is finite right now let ir be this thing this particular integral this this only this part we are only focusing on this part because obviously this part is easy it was just constant depending on r is constant so irb let ir is equals to integral 1 to infinity this thing right for r 1 2 3 4 5 and we can clearly see that ir is actually finite if r is 1 2 3 or 4 but i 5 is infinite why how can you say that so clearly see r is actually is a natural number from 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 right so suppose if i take r equals to 1 that means i1 is nothing but 1 by x to the 5 right integral 1 to infinity 1 by x to the 5 because 1 minus 1 it becomes 0 is upper the numerator becomes 1 and this is 1 by x to the 5 so you can easily calculate i1 right and it is finite and same case goes for 2 3 or 4 but for 5 see if i5 actually goes that say i5 is actually x minus 1 whole to the 4 by x5 x to the 5 now this thing expanding it using binomial theorem we see it's, it's nothing but x to the 4 minus 4 choose 1 x cube plus 4 choose 2 x square and so on now dividing the denominator in, on each of those sum ends we get that this in integral 1 to infinity dx by x this first term this x to the 4 divided by x to the 5 if we just divide x to the 5 on each of this each of these terms right individual terms this first term it becomes integral 1 to infinity dx by x now, this thing is obviously infinite but this is log x right this is log x and log of infinity it is going to be infinity so only this for this particular value of r that means for i5 is actually turns out to be infinite but for other values of r it's actually finite we can easily see that just by expanding we can easily see that only i5 is infinite that means expectation of x order r is actually finite if r is 1 2 3 or 4 but infinity if r is equals to 5 therefore The sum of all those values of r for which the expectation of x order r is finite is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is actually 10. So 10 is the answer. Only 5 is excluded from this sum because expectation of x order 5 is not finite. So the ultimate answer is 10. It's easy. The only thing that was difficult, maybe difficult or at least 
seems a bit difficult is this integral it might seem that you know expanding this integral and all that is it might be difficult but it's actually not we don't even have to find this integral just seeing it closely you can easily see that if you just see that putting x r equals to 1 you can see that it's nothing but 1 by x to the 5 and we know that it's nothing but x to the minus 4 by minus 4 right so from that we can know that it's infinite it's not going to be infinite similar for r equals 2 it's nothing but x, x minus 1 divided by x to the 5 right individually it's not going to be a problem because it's going to be integral of 1 by x to the 4 and integral of 1 by x to the 5 again finite but and this goes on for r equals to 2 3 4 but for 5 as we saw as we just saw it's going to be infinite because of this term this dx by x is going to be log and this is going to be infinite right it's going to be infinite so that is the problem so there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time